How's it going everybody? My name is Tuan Tran. Welcome to my videos and happy Labor Day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day off. I actually had to work a little bit today, but it wasn't such a bad day. I was able to get a lot done. All right, but back to my Q&A series. This is episode four and I'm answering a question for Zach, who is one of my newest clients. He's 12 years old and his question is, Tuan, I'm looking to gain some size in my muscles and gain strength so that a, I can produce better performance for my sports, and B, I want to feel better and I want to look better. What can I do? Well, Zach, you and many other guys are looking for the pursuit of muscle mass and strength. It's right here. <laughs> but getting back to uh, the topic, there's a lot that you need to do, but sometimes keeping simple is the best way to go about it. So at the age of 12 years old, Weight training is not the best way to go yet. Understand your body's still developing, your long bones are still developing. And to be honest, mastering calisthenics and plyometric movements will help you to improve upon your biomechanics, understand the body better, and it will lead to better weight training potential. Here's an example. Any guy who struggles to do 10 push-ups probably is not going to bench press twice their body weight. If they're struggling with 10 push-ups, they might not even be able to bench press their body weight, period, for one rep. If an individual is doing the standing broad jump and they can only produce about two to three feet worth of distance, most likely they have very weak hips, very weak knees, and the muscles around those areas, and they will not perform well when it comes to barbell squats, deadlifts, or power cuts. If an individual is all hanging on a bar and doing countless pull-ups and chin-ups with ease, most likely their arms, their forearms, and their hands are very powerful, which leads to good looking development and also excelling at sports that deal with grip strength. So I just shared with you three calisthenics slash and one of the plyometric exercise that just uses your own body weight. But if you excel at those movements, you excel at many other weight training exercises. And this doesn't just pertain to Zach who's 12, this goes to anyone, whether you're 12 or 40. If you struggle with push-ups, you're gonna struggle with bench press. If your broad jump sucks, your, your squat, your deadlift, your power cleanse probably will suck as well. If you can't do chin-ups and pull-ups, then that means you have severe weakness and that's why you have to opt to do lat pull-downs and arm curls because you're too weak to do pull-ups and chin-ups. So you're opting to do something easier because that, that calisthenic exercise is too difficult. So again, getting back to the basics, sometimes in order to build the body, you have to start with the foundation. And calisthenics have been around for tens of thousands of years. The modern gym has only been around maybe at best a hundred years, I think. Not sure. Google it. But anyways, Zach, I hope this gives you a little insight. Also, you already know that I'm going to be working on your nutrition program. I'm going to figure out your basal metabolic rate, your stress factors your workouts and the intensity that they're bringing, how many calories you're utilizing through all of those things. And then I would calculate through your macronutrients, how many calories and macronutrients you need in order for your body to build muscle mass. Because we all know if you eat too much fat, sugars, you're just going to get fat. So we're not trying to just eat fats and sugars and just trying to eat more for the sake of eating more, trying to build muscle mass. And for all you guys out there, I just gave you guys a lot of insight on things you need to do to, in order to have, to have balanced nutrition to build muscle mass. Because eating more doesn't necessarily make muscle mass. The vast majority of Americans are overweight with a heavy amount of body fat. So better make sure your nutrition is balanced. Also that your nutrition is paired properly with your resistance training and whatever supplements you're taking and the right periodization for recovery and rest so that you generate new tissue tissue and muscle tissue. So all those have to be in harmony. If you don't have that, I provide online training, online coaching. I'll gladly share the information and knowledge to you. I know if you work hard and if I give you the right information, you're going to get the results. But that's up to you. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that video Q&A. Until next time, you guys, I hope you are moving forward to your performance, aesthetics, and wellness calls. Take care.